God's wonders. Have you ever thought about how we literally stand right inside God's wonders? We are so blessed to be able to see God's wonders if only we have eyes to see. Let's take a look. They say that the water flowing from our little creek in Minneapolis will make it to the Gulf of Mexico in 100 days. Our creek varies from a gentle trickle to a raging river. But there is one constant thing about the creek that will surprise and delight you with one of God's wonders. Would you like to guess what it is? The ducks! It's how the ducks float down the creek, fly back up, float down, and fly back up all day long. When I watch these ducks closely, I'm certain they are smiling. They have float parties on the creek, rain or shine, every single day. Best of all, their smiles make me smile too. I have to believe that David was smiling when he wrote about standing in awe of God's wonders. In this song, David calls all of us to sing praise to God for his creation. From the power of mighty mountains, to the strength of the raging seas, to the noise of the nations, God's wonders inspire shouts of joy. Then closer to home, David praises God for tiny little, almost unnoticeable things, kind of like the ducks on our little creek. Here the great King David says of God, you drench the plowed ground with rain, melting the clods of dirt and leveling the ridges. What a tiny thing. After a farmer or gardener hoes the earth and plants his seed, clods of dirt make the ground uneven. But after the rain, the high points of the uneven ground wash into the low points to make it level and easy to walk on. Such a tiny thing to notice, yet something that every gardener understands. Just one more opportunity to praise God. And yes, we too can praise God for things both great and small. For mountain grandeur, spring rains, floating ducks, and the soft little hands of our children. We can praise God when we change dirty diapers because it reminds us how fragile and little we truly are. We can praise God when we're doing the dishes because we had food to eat and food to share. When things go well, well, what an opportunity to praise God. And when we struggle, we can know that Jesus volunteered to struggle for us in a struggle that cost him his life. This too gives us strength to still praise God. We can praise God that he is with us, loves us, and is holding our hands. No matter what comes our way, we are standing right inside God's wonders. Let's keep our eyes, ears, and hearts open for them, and we'll be amazed by what we see.